Welcome to IBM Support TV, where we answer questions and share technical support information, hints and tips on IBM products. We are now ready to run the WAS pre-upgrade command against our source profile from our ctemp remote migration jar bin directory we created in the previous step. With the WAS pre-upgrade command, we provide several parameters, the location of where to write the backup directory, the source directory path, the machine change flag, as this is the remote migration. The username and password parameters are used because global security on the source is enabled. The trace string is used to prevent repeat runs of the WAS pre-upgrade command in case of failure. The machine change parameter prevents carrying the hostname IP address from the source machine to the target machine within the backup configuration data. WebSphere itself is not changed. The WAS pre-upgrade will extract the configuration data and applications from the source install without changing any data within the source profile. If the source deployment manager is running, it is stopped to take the backup of the stable configuration data and applications. The deployment manager's data is being saved to the backup directory. The WAS pre-upgrade completed successfully. Let's look at the backup directory that was created. You can see here the logs directory where the tracing was written. The profiles directory is where the actual backup data was written. The WebSphere backup directory contains property files used in the migration. Do not manually modify without IBM direction. If IBM support requests your WAS pre-upgrade log files, then these are the files that you send. The entire backup 80 dmgr one should be compressed up and moved to the target machine. We will run the WAS post upgrade against the backup directory. Don't run the command until directed to in a later step. Looking deeper in the DMGR profile that was backed up, we can see the config directory and other data saved off. Thanks for watching this episode of IBM Support TV. Please leave a comment with topics you would like to see in future episodes. Until then, stay tuned.